Welcome to a demonstration of OneLogin's remote desktop gateway plugin. I'll be showing you how to configure the application in a OneLogin and how to install the plugin on the RDG server and how that works. Okay, let's start with the remote desktop gateway server. As you can see here, uh, in my server manager, I have the RD Gateway already set up and configured properly. So all I need to do now is go to the One Login Server Plugin, run install, click Next. Terms of service, I acknowledge. Next, install, takes about three seconds. One, two, three, should be done. Great, finish. That's all I need to do on the RDG server. Okay, let's go to a Windows 10 desktop into the One Login platform. I've launched Microsoft Edge. I'm going to go into the administration and to my applications and add an app. Let's search for RDG. I'm going to click on Microsoft RDG server. This is the application. I'm going to call this, you can call this whatever you want, but I'm going to call it uh, My Desktop. It's going to connect to another machine. Click Save. Now really I need three bits of information um, on this application. In the configuration, this is where I put my RDG server. This is the URL that the RDG server is sitting at with an external address. Okay. And then I go, I'm going to save that. And I'm going to go to my parameters. I need two more bits of information. So I'm going to click on parameters. I need to select the target host. I need to know where I'm going. And then I need to know who's going there. In my case, there's a target host. You can specify whatever you want. You can put a URL in here. In my case, I actually created an attribute, a custom attribute, that contains the URL for the desktop of each individual user. So I'm going to do remote desktop machine URL. Click Save. And then I need to put in the Windows username, which is usually a domain slash user. So I also created another attribute called unique ID, which is going to be my domain slash user. So there's my three bits of information. I know my here's my username. Here's where my target host is or my desktop or server. I'm going to click save. And then again, I put the URL for the RDG server. I'm quickly going to go over here to access and I'm going to let all users see that application and I'm going to throw uh, MFA in front of it for PCI and for security reasons. Okay, that's it. That's the configuration on the desktop. So if I go over here as my one login user, I do a quick refresh. I'm going to click my desktop. There's my icon. I click on my desktop. I get my prompt for my one login protect for my MFA. I click accept on my phone. It launches, it creates this RDP with a token or a session to the RDG server. And so it will connect me through to RDG and then onto my desktop. So I can go open or I can save the RDP. So I'm going to click open and it goes in the background. You'll notice here's the URL of my target my domain and my user. All I have to do is enter the user at the desktop or the target server. Click OK. It makes a secure connection and I'm in. I'm in remotely through RDG with my token uh, at the RDG server. I didn't need to put in a username or password or domain. It's already taken care of and I cannot use that RDP file again because it is a 30 second timeout and a single use. That's how easy it is to set it up.